Hey, welcome back. Another day, another vlog. Smoko time. And the down a touch. Hope you're all well this Wednesday evening and everything's going well in the world. I'm well, everyone's well. Well, they should be. <laughs> um, a little bit happening tonight. I got a bit done, shift change. It was really, really good. Um, very proactive. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, Christmas gift guide, I chucked that out. I thought it would give you some ideas of uh, some things for those creative types out there, photographers and techie sort of guys um, and girls. Yeah, a little something for everyone there. I hope you enjoyed that. That's up and on the channel. I'll put that at the end of this little one tonight. Um, so that was pretty cool. Very happy the way it came out. Some good stuff there. Some, there's, there's some XE stuff. There's some cheap options there even some gift certificate options as well for you. So definitely something worthwhile. Uh, got also out this morning for the sunrise uh, along the back of the ranges and got a ton of stuff, Heap of, uh, got a couple of really nice time lapses done um, and I've got a heap of other photos done as well. I've, I've got to go after and clean them up, I have to get back to bed, get some sleep, but uh, yeah, come up really good, so very happy about that. Now, uh, news-wise, Sony. Uh, Sony is now number one in the mirrorless camera game. Uh, they've just recently taken over. It's only by a couple of percentage points. Very, very cool. Uh, and you know, look, you gotta give it to them. Their camera range and their AF autofocus, eye autofocus is pretty darn special. They've done really well in the last couple of years for it. And I don't blame them. Um, they, Probably their glass is probably not the best compared to Canon, but Canon's uh, definitely bodies are way behind Sony, so and they have the good glass. Just trying to find that mix of both, I guess, is without paying twenty thousand dollars for a Leica. I guess that's the the trickiest part. But yeah, so Sony definitely making things. They got in there early about the mirror on the mirrorless train, and they're riding it all the way. Um, so good on them and yeah they, they look like a fantastic camera that a7 uh, a7r4 is just insane and even like the a9 the quality of them is just there uh, I mean they're pro level cameras they're three four thousand dollars just for the for the body and then you have a like a, probably another ten grand's worth of glass on top to um, use them so it's not a not a cheap thing it's not for us every day is but yeah very cool um, maybe they might bring a good entry level now that um, Panasonic or Nikon's got the Z50, Canon's got the M50, maybe Sony might now bring out like a, an entry level one and really really uh, give everyone a bit of a touch up. That would be interesting to see actually, um, maybe in 2020. Now Apple, some big news on Apple's front, uh, a lot happening there, some big leaks and rumours. Um, next year 2020 is going to be a big change for Apple. They're going to be splitting up their normal iPhone event. Normally it's September, we get the iPhones. Normally March, April's your laptops, your, your iPads and such. That's gonna now be split. Um, this pretty much confirmed. There's a lot of rumors about this happening there at the moment. So they're gonna be March, they're gonna have a release and they'll probably be, of the four models they're gonna have, they'll probably be the two cheap ones. They're changing sizes of phones as well. Um, and then, sorry, number two in September. The sizes have changed. The 5.8 inch is going to go down to a 5.4. The 6.1 inch is going to uh, stay the same. And the 6.5 is going to go up to a 6.7. And then you got your pro models on top of those. 5G is confirmed. So we should see the first Apple 5G in March at the release. Uh, 3D sensors on, will only be on the pro phones. Um, yeah. They're going to have all have OLED displays now, so we'll be going to OLED. The Pro will have a new type of OLED where they take the top layer and basically print it onto the LED itself. Some new technology, so it'll be the deluxe, I guess. Just a just a fancier screen, um, but that'll be all happening. So that'll be on the Pro. So it'll be in the September event, and then RAM that's going to go up to for the Pro ones. That's going to go up to six gigabyte. 
for all the extra things, features and stuff that you've got running in them in the big phones. Uh, the base models will still have the four gig. Uh, now the other thing they're talking about also is Bluetooth headphones to come with the uh, phone when you get it. Uh, the, always have the corded ones, you basically throw them in the drawer, no one ever uses them. They're pretty average. Uh, they say they're worth 20 bucks, I don't think I've ever used them. They're hard and they hurt your ears. For me, I don't like them. That's probably why I haven't got the AirPods. Now, some people are saying, well, are they going to put the the AirPods in there, the base model? That's a pretty expensive. Will it jack, jack the price up? Uh, they're not. Looking at, I think a few manufacturers are looking at a way to sell stuff other than the technology and chucking Bluetooth headphones in there when they've got all good rid of jacks now. Uh, Samsung's going that way. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe Apple might bring out a base model AirPods now. They've got the Pros and a little cheaper version. You never know. But I think it'll be fairly good if they expect everyone to use Bluetooth. Um, with good reason that I think that they should supply them with the phone. It's, it's a good way to sell the phone. Definitely, definitely a good idea. Now, wireless charging is also looking at making a comeback. Uh, they're looking at... They've just got the patents out for the hybrid charging, or whatever it's called. Basically, it's going to let you charge your, your AirPods and stuff off the back of your phone and also your laptop, uh, which I found quite interesting. So your little area on where you rest your hand and you've got your trackpad, those two spots that are pretty much empty for your arm wrist, you'll be able to put your phone there or your AirPods, the case, chuck it, just sit them on there and that will charge the phone, no cords required. Um, whether that will automatically sync to the laptop, that would be a good question. Um, I've still got that trouble with ISO 13, so I would, uh, hopefully they don't make it even more harder because I'm, I still can't get me photos. Um, and yeah, and that's about it. A very quick one tonight. I haven't had a chance. I did do so much last night, the last couple of days. So a little quick one tonight. I thought I'd just give you a little taste, a little thing. It's first night, night shift. It's the hard one. Get through this and then we're into the rest of the week and then go home. So the homeward run, which is always good. Uh, yeah, so the Christmas video get over there gift guide hope you enjoy that uh, don't forget our merch uh, over at teespring uh, you'll find the link in below down here that'll be cool appreciate that if you're new to the uh, another day another vlog much appreciated welcome for popping by really do appreciate all your support if you wouldn't mind uh, if you want to see more of this uh, hit the subscribe button bang that bell like you can and hopefully we'll get to see you all tomorrow so wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you're coming, going, or heading to bed, have a great night. Have a great day if it's Wednesday in the States. If you're in the States, it'll be Wednesday day. Enjoy yourself. I hope you've all recovered from the shop fest. Hope your credit cards haven't melted. And we'll see you all for another round tomorrow. Ciao.